it's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Monday, February 5th, 2024. Number one, although a victory in South Carolina's first in the nation Democratic primary was never in question for President Joe Biden, a strong turnout among black voters was of great concern. Four years after Joe Biden was catapulted into the lead among other primary candidates, the president kept his South Carolina primary winning streak alive. Despite a less than robust turnout on Saturday's primary election day, the Biden-Harris team won the day with 96 percent of the votes cast in a three-person field. President Biden also secured all 55 of South Carolina's delegates. Number two, Fulton County, Georgia, District Attorney Fonnie Willis filed a response Friday to accusations that she and her lead special prosecutor, Nathan Wade, have been engaged in an improper relationship and mishandled money. It's been reported that in a response, Willis acknowledged that she was in a personal relationship with Nathan Wade. Willis responded to the charges, including a statement that there was no financial conflict of interest. Number three, according to a new study from the Mayo Clinic, African-American churchgoers and spiritual people who pray privately have better heart health than less religious black people. The study focused on the benefits of religion on heart health, published last month in the AHA. Researchers were shocked that the religiosity and spirituality were associated with improved cardiovascular health. According to the 2017 AHA scientific statement, cardiovascular disease death rates among black adults are higher than among white people. Number four, Issa Tet, a high school U.S. history teacher who is black, bought the Civil Rights Magnetic Learning Kit to share with her students in honor of Black History Month. After opening the kit, she discovered that American sociologist and historian W.E.B. Du Bois, author and educator Booker T. Washington, and historian and journalist Carter G. Woodson were labeled incorrectly. She called out the mistakes in a now viral TikTok video that has been viewed over 850,000 times since posted to social media Tuesday. Benden Publishing, the organization that produced the kit, has not released a statement. However, Target said the company would no longer sell the kit at their stores. Number five, in simple words, respect is when you can accept someone for the way they are, even if they are different from you or you don't agree with them all the time. In the Bible, respect is defined through our love and consideration for one another, valuing them as individuals created in God's own image. Romans 12.10 reads, Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring one another. Read more about R-E-S-P-E-C-T in today's newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Being responsible is not what you say, it's what you do. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with social justice activist Coy Malone and comedians extraordinaire Chris Paul and Huggy Lowdown as we discuss today's top headlines and more. And in honor of black history, here's your daily black history fact. Sophia Dannenberg is the first black woman to climb atop Mount Everest and just the second person of African descent to conquer the world's tallest mountain. On May 19, 2006, Dannenberg completed the 29,000 foot climb. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed, be empowered.